Imagine your tooth trying to pierce your skull, or your hair growing so fast you can't move. Sounds like a nightmare? For some animals, this is reality. Evolution, while creating protective mechanisms, sometimes makes animals hostages of their own bodies. Today we'll explore how body parts meant to help survive can become deadly traps. Let's start with the Babarusa, an amazing creature resembling a pig with a small snout and almost no fur. The main feature of males, tusks that grow throughout their lives and curve upward. And here's where the real horror begins. If a tusk doesn't break in time, it can continue growing until it pierces right into the animal's skull. Seriously, can you imagine? Your own tooth literally passes through your head and kills you. Fortunately, these tusks are quite fragile and often break during fights for females or simply from age. But if this doesn't happen, the Babarusa is doomed to die from its own decoration. Truly, beauty demands sacrifice. Northern reindeer have even more interesting problems. Their antlers are real weapons used in battles for females, but these same antlers can cause death. During duels, reindeer can lock antlers so tightly they'll never separate. And what happens next? A slow, agonizing death follows. They can neither eat nor drink, just stand forever joined by their own means of protection. It gets even worse. If such Siamese twins end up near water in winter, they can fall through the ice and remain frozen forever in their final duel. Nature can be cruel and completely unromantic, but while reindeer at least need an opponent to get into trouble, Argali, wild sheep with corkscrew-shaped horns, manage suicide alone. With age, their horns may start growing in the wrong direction and gradually pierce right into the animal's face. Slowly, day by day, the horn penetrates deeper until it kills its owner. It turns out that males with excessively large horns, who should be more attractive to females, often don't live to the age when they could use their advantage. Not the best evolutionary strategy, honestly. But it's not just wild animals suffering from their own bodies. Humans have contributed too. Take domestic sheep. In the wild, sheep naturally lose their wool once a year. But breeders have developed breeds whose wool grows constantly, without stopping. If such a sheep isn't sheared, the consequences are sad. In heat, the animal might suffer heat stroke under its heavy woolen blanket. If a sheep lies on a slope, it won't be able to turn over, just like a beetle on its back. The wool will cover its eyes, and parasites causing unbearable itching will develop under the matted clumps. Trying to relieve the itching, the sheep rubs against everything in its path, tearing its skin to bleeding and risking infection. Eventually, the overgrown animal might die from multiple causes, all because of wool that was supposed to protect it. Here's another strange example. Donkeys and horses need regular hoof trimming. Without this procedure, hooves grow, curve, and make walking painful or even impossible. Barbers and manicurists are ancient professions, not just for humans, but for animals too. But how do wild animals manage? Wild horses and donkeys' hooves wear down naturally when moving across hard, rocky surfaces. But domestic animals, especially those walking on soft earth or kept in stalls, are deprived of this opportunity. Ice is another danger for hoofed animals. Finding itself on a frozen lake, a deer is practically doomed. It can't maintain balance on the slippery surface and falls, unable to get up. Humans are luckier in this regard. We've invented skates, boats, and ropes to save both ourselves and unfortunate deer. What about turtles with their powerful protective shells? Surely they must be luckier than the rest. But nature has a surprise here too. Large turtles can't turn themselves over if they end up on their backs. The shape and size of the shell directly affect the ability to return to normal position. Turtles with round shells do better than flat-shelled ones, and small individuals are more agile than large ones. Flipping accidentally or in a fight with a rival, a giant turtle can die from starvation, overheating, or become easy prey. What irony! The bigger and stronger the protection, the higher the chance it will someday become your grave. Did you know that some land turtle species are equipped with spiked shields on their front legs? Males use this adaptation during mating to hold on to the female's shell. But sometimes, these spikes become a problem. They can get stuck in vegetation or injure the owner during an awkward movement. Even tails can become traps. Take beavers with their powerful flat tails. These architects of the animal world use tails for swimming and building dams. 
However, in winter, when water bodies freeze, the tail can freeze to the ice. A beaver, unable to free itself, becomes easy prey or simply freezes to death. Let's remember skunks with their famous defense mechanism. Sometimes this protection can turn against the skunk itself. If the animal miscalculates wind direction or finds itself in an enclosed space, it can poison itself with its own smell. Your main weapon becomes the cause of your suffering. Did you know that sloths are so slow that an entire ecosystem can grow in their fur? Green algae live in their shaggy coat, giving it a greenish tint for camouflage. But along with algae, beetles, ticks, and moths settle there. Each sloth can host up to 900 butterflies. And while this ecosystem is usually harmless, sometimes it causes infections that the sloth can't get rid of due to its slowness, or take peacocks with their luxurious tails. Scientists have proven that the larger and brighter a male's tail, the more attractive he is to females. But such beauty has its price. A huge tail significantly reduces maneuverability and running speed. In the wild, this means an increased risk of becoming a predator's lunch. The peacock chooses between the ability to leave offspring and the chance to live until that moment. Here's another interesting example, the pufferfish. Known for its deadly toxin, this creature is so poisonous that one fish is enough to kill 30 adult humans. But the puffer doesn't produce toxin itself. It accumulates from bacteria it feeds on. And if the toxin concentration becomes too high, the puffer can poison itself. Nature is full of such paradoxes, where what should help an animal survive turns into its main vulnerability. Looking at all these examples, you realize that evolution is not a perfect mechanism, but an endless process of trial and error. And sometimes, these errors can be fatal. So, next time you complain about a migraine or overgrown nails, remember the babirusa with a tusk in its brain, or a sheep under its own wool. Perhaps it will make you more grateful that nature didn't play such a cruel joke on you. See you soon.